In the deep night sky above a silent mountain, a massive red glow pulses with silent force. This is Betelgeuse, a colossal star igniting the cosmic horizon with wild fire. It glows so brightly, even from a valley, that it dominates the heavens with its red blaze. This isn't just a bright dot, it's a monster in the constellation Orion, echoing power. Next to other stars in the celestial canvas, it looks like a cosmic titan, huge and looming. Even from an old observatory, its sheer size stuns scientists and night watchers alike. Betelgeuse is among the largest stars ever seen through telescope lenses on Earth's surface. It hangs like a celestial flare in Orion, making every other star look like a small candle. Even when seen from a flat desert field, its size breaks every rule of astronomy logic. Its body spreads across the skyscape, as if stitched into space with glowing cosmic thread. If you replaced the Sun with Betelgeuse, its burning edge would stretch beyond Jupiter. A simple late reflection would no longer show Earth, Venus, or Mars, they'd vanish instantly. This burning giant could hide entire planets like a curtain behind a glowing galaxy wall. Its light would swallow everything near, leaving the moonlight trembling in its shadows. Looking from a satellite image, its cosmic cloud looks endless, like a blooming red storm. This is how you understand cosmic scale, not in numbers, but in what your eyes can't contain. Only a few stars in the universe can match this kind of massive presence in space. Even with satellite cameras, its edge stretches farther than most stars ever dream to reach. Betelgeuse isn't just big, it's dying, perched on the edge of stellar death quietly. It stands like a warrior at the end of a battle under the Milky Way sky after millions of years. This aging star could go supernova at any moment, turning night into day like a flash of lightning. It would be a celestial firework, exploding in silence over our peaceful mountain ridges. Its final death would be louder than words, brighter than a galactic sunrise overhead. No other observatory has ever seen such a display, it will be a first in modern history. Among millions of stars in the night dome, this red light flickers like a signal above the trees. It's not just brightness that makes it mysterious, it's the unpredictable fluctuations. Every astronomer watches Betelgeuse frame by frame, each one catching its subtle changes. From the middle of an ocean, a snowy field, or a farmland, its flicker is impossible to miss. It shines and dims like a candle being blown in the cold wind, always dancing with mystery. Right now, it has captured the world's attention more than ever, racing toward its cosmic end. Betelgeuse is about 764 times larger than the Sun, a number that shakes your logic. That's the kind of measurement that echoes like a volcano roar over a dark space canyon. Even without gear, you can stand near a forest, glance up, and see its glowing red sphere. It's so prominent, it feels close, like a lantern swinging above the cosmic pathway. Betelgeuse is in its red supergiant phase, burning like a torch at the edge of galactic void. It once spent millions of years fusing hydrogen in its core, a fire stoked deep in its heart. But that fuel is nearly gone now, and gravity begins to tug its center into a collapsing pit. While gravity pulls inward, its outer shell expands, ballooning through the space frame. That expansion is eerie and slow, like a psi caught in frozen time from a lens drop in orbit. Place this star in our solar system, and its edge would cover everything from Mercury to Mars. From Earth inward, every planet would be engulfed in its body, lost in its burning lava cloud. Even standing in a quiet village, you'd feel its cosmic presence press against the sky. But size ISNT the main thing, what excites scientists is the promise of a nearby supernova. In observatories hidden on hilltops, Researchers whisper that Betelgeuse might explode soon. Tomorrow or 10,000 years, 
no one knows. The mystery fuels minds across astrophysic labs. Each night, telescopes turn upward, tracking flickers from this massive glowing celestial body. Every blink might be the final signal, the last heartbeat before cosmic silence on the horizon. A firework from the edge of space, seen from a simple rooftop, might be the final farewell. Long ago, Betelgeuse was not red but blue, bursting with energy like a nebula flare. It shot light across space like a wild cannon echoing through deep canyons in the galaxy. Over eons, it cooled and expanded, shifting into this glowing red phase under a misty halo. This transformation came from a war, nuclear fusion versus gravity deep in its core. Hydrogen fused into helium, the energy blazing across star fields and cosmic valleys. Fusion lit it like a torch above the galactic floor, a beacon across interstellar darkness. But as hydrogen dwindled, gravity began winning, dragging the core into a tight knot of pressure. The outer shell fought back, expanding outward like a balloon released into black space. Its red color means it's cooler than the sun, but with mass so high it shakes every star map. While the sun glows yellow-white over oceans, Betelgeuse glows crimson above frozen peaks. On Orion's shoulder, it sits like a celestial jewel, blazing above forests and clearing fields. It is a variable star, changing its brightness above city skylines, like a flickering fire lamp. Whether you're on a snowy road or beside a desert ridge, its soft light can be seen faintly glowing. But when it finally dies, the universe will change, it will explode, pulled by gravity's final grip. Its core will collapse inward, like a vortex in a frozen sea, pressure building beyond measure. When it can no longer hold, it will release outward, brighter than all stars above the valley sky. This will be a type 2 supernova, known in every astronomy book and spoken in every science classroom. For days, maybe weeks, it'll burn like a second sun, hovering over city rooftops and mountain slopes. People will see this even without telescopes, stunned while standing on bridges, islands and fields. Even those who don't study stars will stop and stare at the glowing flash above their balconies. Some will panic, but this cosmic event won't harm Earth, it will illuminate the sky, not burn it. At 640 light years away, we're at a safe distance, close enough for a front row seat from the hills. After the blast, what's left could become a neutron star or even a black hole in the space foam. If the core's small, it becomes a neutron star, so dense, a teaspoon weighs more than mountain ranges. But if it's heavier, it turns into a black hole, swallowing light like a cave beneath the stars. We might not see it again, only feel how it warps nearby light near distant planets and asteroid belts. The James Webb Space Telescope will track the aftermath, peering into the dust above the valley. Satellites will scan radiation, while deep detectors sense particles in underground labs. All this, sparked from one star, just a bright red dot in the constellation Orion seen from fields. Betelgeuse glows like a gem on Orion's shoulder, kissed by the stardust winds blowing across space. People have watched it for centuries, from shepherds under hills to kings walking past ancient temples. Even through modern light pollution in cities, Orion and Betelgeuse still shine for every skygazer. When it explodes, Orion will look unbalanced, one shoulder on fire, the other cold in dark space. Some will say it's prophecy, others a miracle, all watching from distant skylines and farmlands. Everyone will remember the night the star died, passed down in stories from rooftops to planetariums. For scientists, it's a new opportunity to test theories, for dreamers, it's proof that we live in wonder. This single event could change how we see the universe, reshaping thoughts from towers to cottages. And what makes it truly powerful is time, the light we see left Betelgeuse 640 years ago. 
We're not seeing the present, we're witnessing the past, as it was during the age of knights and castles. It may already be gone, and the light we see is only now reaching our distant galaxy edge. That's the odd part of space, every signal is delayed, a slow echo crossing the cosmic sea. Light, neutrinos, and radiation from Betelgeuse help us tell the history of the universe. And what if it happens in your lifetime? What if you look up and see a fireball above your house? It'll hit social media, newsrooms, and classrooms like a lightning strike over a cloudy field. Everyone, from beachgoers to snow hikers, will glance up in unity and feel the power of one star. We'll remember we share this sky, this universe, standing under one glowing cosmic roof. Its shockwaves will race into nearby gas clouds, triggering new star formation near nebulas. This is cosmic rebirth, death followed by life, like wildflowers blooming from scorched lava flows. The gases will mix with dust, forming new stars and solar systems across distant galactic walls. Planets may orbit those stars, maybe even life, born from the end of this dying stellar giant. Nothing in the universe is wasted, not light, not destruction, everything gets recycled in space furnaces. One day, someone may live on a planet under a sun that began with Betelgeuse's fiery collapse. They'll look up and wonder where that light came from, never knowing it started with our night sky. Today, with tools and curiosity, we watch this unfold in real time from our towers and labs. Sensors capture it, particles tell its tale, but it's the wonder that means the most from balconies. That's what Betelgeuse gives us, a moment of awe, a story written in cosmic ink across the heavens. Every light signal from Betelgeuse holds information about its core, its elements, its pressure. Spectrographs show fingerprints of heavy metals and decaying isotopes inside the stellar belly. From deep within, carbon, oxygen, and iron are born and blasted out when the star collapses. These elements later form moons, planets, and soil in places like Earth's fertile fields. The gold in your jewelry or iron in your blood likely came from stars like Betelgeuse exploding. Every human carries in their cells the ashes of stars, scattered through cosmic storms. The death of one giant creates the conditions for many new beginnings near star cradles. So when Betelgeuse goes, it won't end, it will transform, rebirthing in the stellar night. We might detect a gravitational wave, a space ripple, flowing through our detectors in icy tunnels. These waves travel faster than light itself, sending a silent scream across the galaxy sea. It may also emit a burst of gamma rays, caught by satellites orbiting above the Earth's atmosphere. That flash would last seconds but tell us everything about the moment the core ripped apart. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.